Alright guys, and now here is part 2 of my PlayStation 3 game collection. Where I last left off, I showed you The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel Part 2, and we'll continue from there. With this game, I bought it back in April 2016 from EB Games. My first Metal Gear game that I bought. By the way, that game kicks ass. It was an unexpected file, uh, an unexpected find, but that game kicks ass. Third Metal Gear Solid game that I bought, got for Christmas, 2016. Got this game. I already showed you that. Now, don't bother buying Metal Gear Solid HD Collection on PS3. Just buy the Xbox 360 version because there's this game, The Legacy Collection, which came out in July 2013. This one, and here's this two. This two has Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots. And the first one is the HD collection, which came out in 2011. Metal Gear Solid 4 came out in 2008 on the PS3, which should have been released on Xbox 360, but oh well. I can live with that. Bought this in February 2016 from. The bargain shop in a red case, Midnight Club Los Angeles complete complete edition. Bought this game on Amazon back in March 2018. It's a game that you're probably not familiar with. <laughs> Mind Jack. Came with this Trust Life Front Mission Evolved. This game came out in 2011. English side, French side. Bought this from Walmart in July 2014. Minecraft. This, this game I bought back in August, no, 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 January 2014, Recycled, which is the first Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm game in the series, which was initially a PS3 exclusive. Bought this in August 2013 from EV Games. Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. 
and this time it's Naruto Shippuden. The first one was based off the original Naruto. And I must say I enjoyed playing the Ultimate Ninja Storm games. Got this for Christmas in 2013. Which was my first 3D compatible PlayStation 3 game. Which is Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. I also have it on my Xbox 362. Same thing with Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. And the next one I'm going to show you. Comes in a small manual. Going that for Naruto Shippuden on Neon Alley. And my only Naruto Shippuden DVD I've got is Naruto Shippuden the movie. Bought this in July 2013 from EB Games. Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. I also have it on my Xbox 362. Oh, look at that. Naruto Shippuden DVD set 10. Naruto, the official character data book, and a digital. And available in digital format as well. Developer is CyberConnect 2. Played in most of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja series, if not all of it. Well, got this game in June 2015. Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. And I don't have this game on my Xbox 360, but that's fine. Mecha Naruto. Bonus. I was too late for that, though. But however, this one does not expire until 2099! I'd be dead by then! Persona 4 Arena. Accolades. Bought this in um when was it again? Oh yeah, April 2014. And not to not to mention I will show your Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 later, but it'll be in my PlayStation 4 game collection. The fighting game of Persona, Persona 4. Speaking of Persona 4 Arena, here is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Got this for Christmas in 2014. Near for PlayStation 3, also on Xbox 360, just like the previous two games. And I do have Near Automata, but I'll show you it when I show you my PlayStation 4 game collection.
bought this in spring 2017 from Amazon. Got this game, um, in August 2016 from the Bargain Shop. The Run is an action movie coming racing game. The Run is an action movie come racing game, says Machi, Maki, Maki Nima, however the hell you say it. Also in a red case as well. I have this on my PlayStation Vita. In a red case. NHL 14 bought this in July 2014 for me games. Speaking of NHL, here is NHL 15. Bought this in April of 2016. Also have my PS4, but I'll show you that later when I show you my PS4 collection. Bought this in April of 2017. No more heroes, Heroes Paradise, which is No More Heroes on PlayStation 3. Since you know this is based off the Wii game of No More Heroes. That's my receipt. I don't remember what seller I bought it from. Here, let me just check for a sec. I got it from GG Bande Vandalay from Yes. GG Vandalay. No more heroes on PlayStation 3. That's the seller I got it from. It was a used copy though, and that's all right. Oh look, Spanish, somewhat Spanish. Bought this in August of 2014, my first One, one Piece game that I bought. One Piece Unlimited World Red. Also on Nintendo 3DS, Wii U, and PlayStation Vita, and not to mention, this game is also released on Steam, PlayStation 4, and on Nintendo Switch as well. My first One Piece game, bought it from uh, GameStop. I think that's where I bought it, GameStop. Now, the next one is a Japanese game, which I got for Christmas in 2017. Fence Breaker Extra, Zero B rated, from 5PB and Mages. Made in Japan for Japan only. Well, PlayStation 3 is a region 3 system. As well as the PS4, Nintendo Switch, you know, this and that. As well as the Xbox One. 
which I did here. It's region free from uh, you know, never mind. Bought this game in September 2012 from Best Buy. Plants vs. Zombies, featuring Pago, which I do have on my PC, and Heavy Weapon, which I also have on my P. No, 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 no. I have Heavy Weapon on my PlayStation 2. One of my favorite games, Plants vs. Zombies. And there's also Garden Warfare. But I have that on my Xbox One. Show you that when I show you my Xbox game collection. I also have on my PC as well. And Nintendo DS. <laughs> Bought this in August 2013 from Target. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which is supposed to be a rival to Super Smash Brothers. Quantum Theory, which I bought back in February from Amazon. Came from The Beat Goes On. Provider of, pro, provider of quality used music, movies, and games since 1991. So that would be 27 years ago. I've never heard of this game, and I bet none of you ever have ever heard of this game either. Either. It's a pretty dark, nightmarish game. Quantum Theory. At least I survived it. The final boss was pretty freaking hard. Kind of frustrating. Now, the next game I'm going to show you is another 3D compatible game. And my most recent one. They're bought from Amazon, and it's in a red case. Song Generations. I also have this on my Nintendo 3DS and Xbox 360. We wanted to get this game for a long time on PS3, and what do you know? I finally have it. By the way, the disc the disc banner is straight, so this is probably just a reprint from 2014 or 2015. My first PlayStation 3 game I, I bought from Walmart, Rayman Origins. I also have it on Nintendo 3DS and PS Vita. Got on that for The Adventures of Tintin, which I have it on DVD. English side, French side. Sacred 3, bought this in August of 2016. The Navy Games. Split Second, bought it in July of 2012 at True Value True Hardware This is the English side and here's your French side of it I also have it on my Xbox 360 as well Got this game for Christmas in 2012. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. By the way, I swapped cases with Quantum Theory. 
and I traded the case with this game and there's also a greatest hits version of it as well here's now for Sonic Unleashed which is on both PlayStation 3 and on PlayStation 2 also on the Wii and Xbox 360 I'm not sure if they released it on Steam or not Probably not. Bought in January 2018 from uh, whatever the store was called. Sports Collection Sports Pack with MLB 14 The Show and NBA 2K14. Here's the manual to NBA 2K14, which is also on PS4, a launch title. You know, there's a few launch titles out there like Killzone Shadowfall, etc. MLB 14 The Show, Straight Banner on the disc, and NBA 2K14 The Show. I almost hit the show there. NBA 2K14 MLB 14 The Show Blue Banner See? And Dragon Guard 3 has the Blue Banner on PS3 as well Bought from the same store Store of Hawk Oh yeah, I bought it at Fields Same thing with the previous one game is, is supposed to be a space western this game is from 2012 Bought this in February 2018. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Based off the PS2 slash GameCube games. No, no, no. One's on GameCube and the other one is on the Wii. Tales of Zillia Limited Edition DLC Voucher, which, you know what, I don't care about. Yep, that's what Bandai Namco usually does now. Got this game for Christmas in 2016. Tales of Caesarea. My first Tales game I ever bought. Tales of Zillia bought this in February of 2018. Bought from Amazon. And speaking of Tales of Zillia, here is Tales of Zillia 2. Bought well, recently, got a brand new two. Yep, there's the receipt. 
The first one did not come with a receipt, but that's all right. Bought this game in December 2013 from Walmart. Tekken 6. No, uh, Tekken 6. Sleek, smoother, and more satisfying 3D fighter than we've ever seen in years. Game Pro. Near game near gameplay perfection, says Game Informer, July 2009. Yes, it won a few accolades. Here's an ad for our Dragon Ball Raging Blast in stores November 2009. Oh, look at that. Here's an ad for another ad for Kamatari Katamari Forever. And it's in a red case. Our first PlayStation 3 game in a red case. Got this for Christmas in 2017. One night in birth. AXE light. You know, I mean, this game is not released on Xbox 360, but I can live with that, though. And there's another Under Night in Birth I'm going to show you later when I show you my PS4 game collection. Under Night in Birth EXE. No, X. Uh, what are, you know what? I don't remember the title, but I'll show you when I show you my PlayStation 4 games. Bought this in August 2017 from Amazon. Vanquish. This game's awesome. Got from Todd's Toy Box. Just got an ad for Aliens vs. Predator. From 20th Century Fox and Rebellion Interactive. And two two PlayStation 3 games remaining. Yakuza Dead Souls. <laughs> One of my PS3 Yakuza game I've got. And I do have Yakuza Kiwami on my PS4, which I'll show you when I show you my PS4 games. Oh, look at that. It did the opposite. Binary Domain. It has an ad for Binary Domain, which I do have on my PlayStation 3. I was originally going to buy it on my Xbox 360, and I was like, I couldn't find the Xbox 360, and I was like, oh, fuck it. I might as well buy it on PS3. And that's why I ended up buying it on PS3 instead. Bought from Amazon in January of 2017. Ordered in order after Christmas in 2016. And my last PlayStation 3 game. I also have on my Xbox 360 as well. High Speed Robot Action. Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Includes a demo of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which I do have on my PlayStation 3. Which is based off the two PlayStation 2 games. Bought back in February of 2016. However, it does not come, come with two discs, but... It only has one disc, and that's certainly okay. Well then, that'll pretty much do for my PlayStation 3 game collection, and my next collection will be my PlayStation 4 game collection, and I'll see you guys then.